ELA is very happy about the fact that most of its members have realized that integrating ESG in or even making ESG its strategy is not only key to success but key to survival. Many though have expressed a need for ideas and support in how to make this transition happen. This is why we have on one side started a series of interviews with leaders who have already converged their business model, where we give those leaders the opportunity not only to explain what they have done, but also how they made it happen. And in this video, you will see some very short extract of some of these interviews. On the other side, we have developed in close cooperation with Professor Ravi Fernando, the 21st century board leadership model masterclass. This masterclass provides guidance to our members in their quest not only to master all the challenges of the existing and future disruptions generated by climate and biodiversity crisis, the health and social crisis, technology and geopolitical disruptions, but also to grab the huge opportunities that those crises and disruptions embed. And at the end of this video, you will see a link to the ELA website where you can find all the details about that masterclass. Now enjoy the video and hope to see you very soon. Thank you. But there I also want to say that the most forceful thing that is happening on the market now, if you are owned by an institution, um, a foundation or a private owner, or the stock market is the taxonomy, the EU taxonomy, which is going to regulate what kind of investment, what kind of companies are sustainable or not, and the TSFD, the, the framework in terms of climate-related risk. That's driving the financial market right now. That's driving the pension funds in all over Europe, but also in the US. <clears throat> so I think that that is something to really look out for. And I think one question that all board members should ask themselves, this company that I'm sitting in, what are we actually trying to do in society? Are we solving any societal problems or do we want to solve any societal problems? We're not only here to generate pro uh, profit. So what kind of societal problems are you trying to solve and how can you contribute? Partnership finally, is the only solution to drive sustainable uh, change in the pace that is needed. It's a decade of action. We have 10 years where we need to change a number of things fundamentally, and that is things around social inclusion, climate, mm -hmm. biodiversity, and water. Just do it now. Start on Monday. And uh, time is running out. Um, and markets are... Uh, are moving extremely fast also now. So uh, those companies or boards which does not go into sustainability or haven't done it, yet, they will run out of business in my opinion. It's as simple as that because it's going very quickly now. And uh, yeah, look at how many women are on your board. Look at, if the next generation is represented in the board. Look at, Minorities have their, their, their word to say to it. You need to be challenged now. So the challenge is today, if you just work now on financials, you will not get it right when you are coming out of the, the crisis. So you need to take it broader and you look at your impact. Is your company in the future having positive impacts other than financials and Questions at yourself because you have never thought you have to rebuild things now coming out of this crisis. There are a lot of thing, things changing in your, our businesses. But they have the responsibility of care and diligence that we just mentioned at the beginning. They have to ask the question. If the board doesn't ask, uh, if the board closes its eyes, uh, if the board doesn't want to look, for example, how many boards are really asking to a company, where are we putting the, the, the money for lobby, for example? Where are we lobbying? How much does it cost? What kind of ID do we defend? How can you be seriously saying that you are serious about climate change if you continue to give money to organizations that are fighting against 
uh, uh, the European move toward the uh, uh, green. Is it possible? So a board that accepts this or don't ask about this is negligent and is going against the interest of the company. Mm. The mm. duty of the board everywhere in the world, they are slightly different, but they always are around three main duties. The first one is that board is responsible for the, for the interest of the company. We tend to simplify this, and in some country we have been, uh, for me, negligent enough to keep that in the law. To, we tend to simplify this in saying this is the interest of the shareholders. It's not. We will talk about that later. Second, after the interest of interest, you have to you have to behave with care and diligence. And third, you have to issue external communication which is fair and balanced for the public around the company understand what you are doing in a fair way. We are, sometimes I, I say uh, shareholders own shares, they don't own the company. It's a big difference. And, uh, and this is the responsibility of the board to understand this difference. Uh, well, I, I, I think I can start with, with a vision and everyone who just reads our annual report or goes to our website would say, see our vision, the very first sentence reads, uh, we envision and say who as a leading and sustainable energy player in the greater region. And we also claim that we want to drive the energy transition towards a more sustainable system. So I think uh, in, in, in that sentence, sustainability is built into our DNA just by the subject matter, which is our business. Energy, I mean, everyone, everyone knows that we need to move from fossil to renewable energy and change the whole system. Well, that's our business. We need to change with it. And therefore, sustainability for us is indeed at the heart of, of, of our strategy. I mean, we are really trying to, um, to, to develop renewable energies to, to, to get this up to speed, to make our clients also move uh, to to other energy sources to help them become more efficient. It's always, because we always try about sustainability. I think that in, in energy, the best thing is we reduce our use of energy. It's not necessarily the best for us, but, but that's uh, sustainability is part, part of that one. We're working a lot of energy efficiency, helping our clients uh, in, in that matter. So there, I think, uh, as I said, it's, it's built into our general business strategy because that, that's what we do. And then obviously it's also translated in, in, our, in our values. Or other. I mean, if we look at corporate values, one of our main values is respect. And it also says in particular that we respect obviously all the, all the resources and uh, we, uh, uh, that we would like to have a secure energy supply for the world uh, tomorrow, for the future. I mean, we are really... It's, it's part of our, our, of our DNA, I, I, I can say. It's, just, it's mainly also our license to exist. Uh, it's, uh, it's our business. Of course, it's uh, very much a question of uh, individual uh, uh, um, let's say priorities. For me, uh, the P standing for people is by far the most important one which does not mean that I will neglect the other ones. They are just uh, not as important for me, but they are extremely important. And um, uh, putting the focus on the P for people, it's also a little bit part of my pride. And it's maybe typical for uh, family-owned businesses. It's going to be more difficult to have the same focus in a large industrial group than in a family-owned business. Uh, yes, that's uh, something that is very important to me. Uh, you, as a, an organization or an enterprise, you are not on the standalone uh, situation. You are in, in an environment and uh, you have to bring to this environment the value added, be it in terms of employment, be it in terms of profitability, uh, be it in how you transform your environment. For instance, in my case, I can bring a value added to the environment by creating environmentally friendly products to build houses, for instance. Mm -hmm. or, and every time we have a new investment, they said, okay, how is it with our environment? What are we going to, 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 to gain with this new investment? 
Are we going to be more productive? Are we going to be safer? Are we going to be better in, in the environment? Are we going to, 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 to make it easier for people? And that, that was a question that we always had before they gave us a green light for the investment. Uh, when we come to the, the objectives, when we come to the project that we want to do and to the investment, we always ask, what, what, what are you doing for sustainability? And that's always one of the questions that is going to be yes or no for the investment. Okay. But we have no, no, not a special person working on sustainability. The only case is the list where we have one, one of the three pillars of the list is just health and sustainability, where we would definitely work on sustainability. It's depending from board to board, but as I said, it's integrated in the board and it's part of the board. It's not a, in a, specific, a specific topic. When it comes to investment, when it comes to putting money in somewhere, we always ask, what is the effect on? Profitability and sustainability. Mm -hmm. oh, that is, uh, maybe but my CEO was invited some months ago, but okay, that is the new strategy, the new path is clearly that one. Huh? Lifting profitability by driving sustainability. And for us, that is going ends to ends, and that is going together, and that is not contradictory. We have a climate director inside the group, which is not so often uh, in an industrial group. So we have a, a climate director, which is uh, reporting to, the, um, to a board member, uh, who is the business and strategy uh, leader.